Hey internet, Chris here. Today what I'll be doing is a bit of a shootout video between a few picks that I have. Recently I asked myself the question, how big of a difference do picks make in your tone? So I decided to test that out uh, using three picks that I have here. I've got a Dunlop Tortex Max Grip, pretty standard stuff. It's made out of carbon fiber and it has a super thin pointed tip, which is what they're known for. I've got a Dunlop Purple Tortex Pick, 1.14 millimeter. This is again pretty standard. It's made out of some sort of thermoplastic. And lastly, we've got a very cool chicken pick. Uh, this pick is actually super thick. It's a 3.5 millimeter, and it as well is made out of a thermoplastic. And it's super tough. It's very, very hard. What I plan to do with this is play three different things. A clean a rhythm with a lot of gain, and a lead using each of the three picks. I'll be playing the same thing each time, and I want to see how much of a difference it actually makes so that we can compare uh, these things to each other empirically. So there you have it. The differences between the, the three picks weren't as big as I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. I was expecting there to be a huge difference between the Jazz 3 and the Chicken Pick, and for the most part, they sounded pretty much the same. Starting with the cleans, it took me a, quite a while to actually notice any sort of difference 
between any of the recordings that I did. I did notice slightly that the Dunlop Jazz 3 had more of a sharp attack to it, which makes sense because it has such a tiny tip. Otherwise, there was no real difference in the clean bits, which is surprising because, again, I was expecting the most amount of difference on the clean demos. For the rhythm, the differences, again, were very small. With the Jazz 3, the chugs were a little bit more focused, and there wasn't uh, that purr after you really hit a palm-muted note and let it ring out a little bit. The sustain of it fell off very quickly. With the Tortex purple pick here, it sounded a lot deeper on the chuck, so you can get more purr out of the notes whenever you palm-muted it. And with the chicken pick here, the chugs themselves had the same amount of purr that the Tortex had, but they also had a lot of high-end. They were very bitey. For the lead demos, most of the difference I noticed between the three picks were just from the pick attack alone. With the Jazz 3, the pick attack was very sharp and quick. There wasn't any scratch of the pick scraping across the string. Because of the material used, the chicken pick had a very bright, clicky sound to it. Beyond that, the difference in tone that each pick generates is very minuscule. It's tiny. I honestly feel like if I wanted to use my Jazz 3 and make it sound more like the purple Tortex, I probably could do that. I would just have to play the notes a little bit differently. The real difference between the picks, in my opinion, comes down to the playability of each one. Each pick lends itself well to different situations, and it's going to do a certain thing very well. I noticed that the Jazz 3 does single notes very well because it has that really pointed tip. So if you can just imagine playing this on a guitar, this tip is so small, and if you want to make a note sound, you don't have to move the pick very far. The range of motion needed is very small. Whereas if you're using a Tortex pick, the edge is a lot more round. If you want to make a sound, you'd have to move the pick a little bit further, which increases um, the amount of energy that you have to use in your right hand. Same thing with the chicken pick. Depending on the type of material used and how heavy the pick is, the sound that you get out of your guitar when using it is probably going to be more snappy the heavier that the pick gets. So if that's what you're going for, then you should definitely get a heavier pick or a thicker pick and it'll make that easier. However, I do believe that if you do want to get a snappy sound out of your guitar with something like a Jazz 3, you could still do that. You would just have to use a lot more energy to get that snappiness out of it. So this was a really interesting video for me to make. I did learn a lot. Um, this totally shattered my perspective of how much a pick really matters in playing music and making music. Thanks so much for watching and have a nice day. Take care.